there is a fine line between appreciation and appropriation as it relates to food. Specifically with TikTok creators, sharing recipes from different cultures, I think it's important to give credit where credit is due. The problem is repackaging them and making them seem like they never existed in the first place. So raise your hand if you've ever eaten Mexican food cooked by an American. Um, or sushi by someone who isn't Japanese. Um, is that appropriation? No. No? No. no. Well, Angela, you say not only is food being appropriated, but it needs to stop. Uh, tell, me, tell me what you mean. Um, so when it comes to food, it's not necessarily that people of another culture can't enjoy other people's cuisines. That's not the point I'm making in terms of cultural appropriation. What I'm saying is the idea of profiting off of that. So like I mentioned, TikTok creators, for example. Mm -hmm. um, I recently wrote an article, I'm a food writer, uh, for a website called The Takeout. Uh, I wrote an article about TikTok creators sharing a specific uh, drink called, well, they called it spa water but it's actually agua fresca, which is something that comes from Mexican culture, Latino culture. It's a drink that is water, sugar, and uh, like blended fruits and vegetables. So the issue there is that white creators on TikTok are sharing this particular drink. Um, they're profiting off of it in the sense of they're gaining attention from it, they're gaining views, um, and they're also giving it a new name. This, this drink already existed, it's part of a culture. I feel like it's very simple to give credit where credit's due. Mm -hmm. And compensation. Right. And compensation Absolutely. to who? Well, for one thing, let's think, about, let's think about Jack Daniels and the enslaved person that created that recipe. It would be nice to let his family benefit from that rather than having Jack Daniels' family become millionaires. So they would have to track down the creator of Agua Fresca, hope that they still have family alive, and give them some of the money they've made off the TikToks they've well, I created? Think, I don't think it's specifically that. It's yeah. not, I'm, I'm, at least me personally. You don't think I'm, they need to be compensated? I'm saying that on TikTok in this particular sense, because social media plays a role in it. That's how, mm -hmm. that's how things are shared nowadays. If this particular white creator um, is gaining, you know, two million views from their recipe of spa water, knowingly knowing that it comes from a specific culture, I just think that's not right. I, I don't understand why that can't be acknowledged. She could have done her research. I, I mean, so I know So anytime did. we cook something, we need to research everything about I it? I think when you share it online, you yeah. have a responsibility, yes. And if you're claiming it, it's yours. That's why when people create things, they do research to see what else is out there. You can only go so far to say, I didn't know. But once you know, you can't unknow that. That's what I'm saying. So there has to be credit. And we're not necessarily talking about there have to be reparations. We're talking about respect and humanity for somebody from whom you've stolen. Cultural appropriation is not criminal, but it is ethical. But and you people know, have a right to make a decision about what is ethical. Yeah, and one once the, you know, you can't unknow that, Dr. Phil. One of the things that bothers me is when I, I see this happen on the internet, I mean, they just attack them and that doesn't help. But where, and I mean, they really go after them. But where might that be coming from though? Where might that be coming from? Anger is an expression of something. Hurt, so where might that, exactly. And if, if we talk about this, and that's what seems to be missing again from the conversation, is where's the history of this? And all of this is about education. All of this is about education. But I would like to think that each person here is a lifelong learner. And once you know this, you can't unknow this. So this is not about, which is what was brought up earlier about how are you supposed to know this? And I, nobody's trying to ask anybody to know everything. In fact, that's why we're still learning this. But if somebody has told you that this bothers me, the response should not be, well, it shouldn't. And I don't think anybody here is trying to say anybody is speaking on behalf of one. What I am saying is that we can educate it and learn more about what we are talking about so that we don't do it again. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.